Yes, my name is Mike Eisenberger. I'm a journalist. I'm writing for Politically Incorrect. And uh, yeah, I'm sometimes at court. <laughs> now, correct me if I'm wrong. I want to make sure I got this right. As I understand it, you were just handed a six-month jail sentence for posting yes. a historical picture in your Facebook time, your Facebook wall or timeline or whatever. Is that correct? That's correct, yeah. And is it the picture that shows uh, a meeting of high-level Nazis and behind them there's a Nazi flag and a flag showing the Islamic symbol? Is that correct? Yeah. You know, it's about an article which was... Um, published by the um, South German newspaper. It was called uh, Hakenkreuz and Halbmond. So it's about the um, 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 working together between Nazis, National Socialism and uh, Islam. And um, I um, posted on Facebook uh, that um, the um, um, South German newspaper had published this article and uh, I said, yeah, this is a historical uh, thing and um, I uh, had a, 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 a long article on uh, PI News where I um, showed this uh, working together um, of the Nazis and Islam and uh, yeah, and today they uh, said, eh, you posted uh, a symbol of the Nazis, and so we <laughs> judge you for six months. <laughs> crazy, crazy, crazy. So, so this now, you, so you posted both an article and images then, right, to support this? Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. What is the, what, what is, are, are you waiting for an appeal? Have you launched an appeal? Yes, um, we, um, you know, this this um, uh, sentence is on probation. So they they say um, you have three years and six months. You are on probation. If in this time is uh, happening anything, you are uh, insulting Islam or um, posting any um, uh, things. Uh, <laughs> We don't like. We put you uh, six months in jail. That's that's um, the sentence of today. But um, you know, we, we go in, in in the next round. So so um, uh, we will uh, fight this through um, until the highest German court, and if necessary, to the highest uh, European court, because this is uh, has nothing to do with the German right. What happened today? Yeah, it's not. No, it's it's. It's, it's, it's simply too horrifying for words. It's absolutely Orwellian. It's Stalin-esque. It is, I just don't have the words. It's just way, this is just unacceptable. What could people do if they wanted to help you? Uh, what, what kind of help would you, would you need and how could they give it to you? In the moment, it's good if everyone uh, is spreading the information, yeah, in the social medias, in the networks, yeah, uh, look what's happening in Germany. Yeah, somebody who is criticizing Islam, who is criticizing national socialism, yeah, and who is warning about the uh, totalitarian aspects of both ideologies. He is sentenced yeah, in Germany. So it's it's no more democracy. Yeah, it's uh, like in a in a totalitarian uh, dictatorship. It's difficult to argue. I would say that's not an exaggeration. When the government can just sit arbitrarily level fines based on such ludicrous foundations. Uh, as I understand it, the way it was explained to me, it's the claim was that the, the, the German government claims uh, that people wouldn't recognize the historical context of the article or the image, and therefore it was denigrating to Islam or denigrating religion. Is that right? Yeah, you know, in uh, I um, uh, wrote in in my article in Facebook, Islam is a fascist ideology, as Hamid Abdel Samad is saying, and he wrote a book about it. And Winston Churchill said, uh, "Quran is the my fight of the Prophet Muhammad." Yeah, these are historical facts of. of uh, uh, um, uh, of Winston Churchill, he said it, and he, he knew exactly how dangerous national socialism is and how dangerous Islam is. And I, I wrote in my Facebook article um, that um, uh, this uh, working together of 
Nazis and uh, Islam uh, is um, a fact, yeah, and um, and uh, the picture uh, showed uh, uh, um, a member of the NSDAP with a, a Hakenkreuz on his arm, and he was shaking hands with a Gross Mufti of Jerusalem, Amin al Husseini, yeah, who um, formed an um, SS division, Hansha, with uh, 25,000 Muslims who were fighting um, for the Nazis. Yeah, and um, yeah, these are histor historical facts. And when I, as a journalist, cannot show pictures of this uh, working together, yeah, what's going on there? What's going on? Yeah. Crazy, crazy. Yeah. It is absolutely, it is horrifying. Um, it's clearly an Orwellian attempt to control the past. Because once you control the past, you control the future. Yeah, and and the, the, uh, the um, you know uh, these are historical facts. You, you can't deny them. Yeah, but um, the Richterin, the, the judge, yeah, uh, she said, "Oh no, it wasn't like this." Uh, you have no idea about. It. She spoke to the to the audience because there were forty people in in the in the room. Yeah, the, the room was uh, fully overcrowded. Yeah, and um, before uh, they came in, they had to be checked once again. You know, if, if you come in, in Germany to, to the uh, building uh, of, of, of court, you, you have to uh, put out all your things, yeah, and, and there's a, 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 a control station. And this judge, um, she ordered that in front of the, the room where the the uh, trail was there was again a second controlling of the people. Everybody had to to show his uh, personal ID. It was copied, yeah, uh, and everybody had to to give everything he had. You know, the clock, yeah, the, the money box, even my my pen, yeah. I had to 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 give my my pen to the uh, policeman, and I said, "Hey, listen, I." I have to write what's going on, you know. I'm accused, yeah. Uh, so uh, I want to have my pen, and they said, "No, no, it's not allowed." And I said, uh, "I insist." Yeah. And then they 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 talked to the to the chief, and and then he said, "Okay, yeah, good, you can take your pen." It's like a, a, a terrorist trail, you know, the, as as if there were people who want to. Uh, make explosions or anything yeah it was so crazy the people were criminalized yeah criminalized by uh, this this court it's unbelievable what was going on today i can tell you why do you what do you think they were searching for <laughs> you know um i had uh before this this um uh, trail today i i had um, um published an article yeah where I um, said, okay, this accusation is not is not legal. I made nothing wrong, yeah. And I I uh, said, okay, everybody who wants uh, to come to this uh, court uh, can come. It's uh, uh, public. You can 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 uh, see. So the the judge uh, feared uh, that there would uh, come a lot. Of she wanted to show she has power. Yeah, and now she can criminalize all the people uh, that are coming. So they were controlled. You know, they were treated like like criminals. Yeah, it was. You know, she showed he she has power. It was uh, a female judge. Yeah, uh, you know, I, it was so horrible. The whole trial was so horrible. I can't tell you. Yeah, she refused uh, all our arguments. Yeah. She said, no, wrong, yeah, it's that way, and end of discussion. <laughs> Crazy. Do you, do you, you know? think it's possible that they were checking for any kind of recording device in case anybody might actually be able to record what went on in that courtroom? Yeah, maybe this. They, they, they didn't want uh, that it uh, will be recorded, yeah. And, um, you know, if you, if you have to, to give everything yeah, yeah, you know the people. Uh, somebody had uh, to to take off his his uh, chains and and uh, uh, rings, and you know it, it. It's possible then that the judge was trying to stop anybody from recording these proceedings because she knew what she was going to be doing. Yeah, yeah, but you know uh, we 
we uh, had uh, some some people who um, who um, uh, wrote everything. What what happens? Uh, there was one journalist. He insisted to have a, a pen. He, he wrote everything, and I wrote everything. So everything that happened, what happened, uh, is um, is now um, you know we we. We, we put what's going on, and we have 40 people there uh, who, who can um, make sure this this happened today. Yeah, and um, yeah, there are people who want to uh, blame the the judge um, because she um, said, "Oh, you are, you people here, you you don't know what's going on. Yeah, <laughs> you are <laughs> too stupid to 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 see what's what's." Uh, What's right or what, what's wrong? It's, it was crazy. It was really crazy. Yeah, it was like like in the, in the Nazi time, you know. And we we refounded the White Rose together with Susanne Hirzel. She was yeah at court in the Nazi time. Yeah, and she founded with us the new White Rose. And she said, Islam and National Socialism are both ideologies you can compare. Yeah, and in in the old days. The people were judged, yeah, who criticized a fascist ideology, and nowadays it's the same, yeah. The ideology changed, but the thing is the same, yeah. Thank you yeah. very much. I can't believe this. I am just horrified, and I know everybody I've mentioned to is just literally horrified. You know, I sincerely hope that your appeal works, and, you know, reach out, please, if there's anything anybody can do or anybody I know can do. I, I'd like to do the best I can to make sure that you get whatever help you need. This is... And another another uh, barefaced move forward for totalitarianism, for the end of rule of law, and for the end of liberal uh, liberalism and, and, and individual rights. Uh, thank you very much for taking the time to talk to us. Yeah, thank you very much. And I can uh, just quote Gerd Willers. Yeah, I will talk the truth as long as I live, as long as I breath, and they won't stop us. Yeah, we will talk the truth. Yeah until everybody knows what's going on. Yeah, that's it. Thank you very much for doing that. And I hope that, I hope that many millions will join you in that. I'll speak to you Thank again you. soon. We'll keep in touch. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.